turn now to the jobs report. And while employers added 339,000 jobs in May, uh, inflation did jump. Uh, unemployment jumped to 3.7 percent. We've also got higher inflation here to break it down. Author of Trumponomics and co-founder of the Committee to Unleash prosperity, Stephen Moore. Uh, Stephen, I don't know if you just saw, we had uh, Ron DeSantis on the road. And the thing that I'm wondering, you know, they get back to the, it's the economy, stupid. That was the case back in the early 90s. Right now, it seems like we're, you know, not quite certain where we're going. And mm -hmm. I forget the exact number, but an overwhelming majority of Americans are uncomfortable with the future of this economy. Well, that's right. And we, we keep getting these cons kind of conflicting data on the economy, don't we? So yeah. today we got a blockbuster jobs report, really good numbers, happy to see that. Uh, so it was over 300,000 new jobs. Now there's two different reports, one showed a negative and one showed a positive, but the one that's normally used showed really good uh, jobs numbers. So if you're looking for a job, those jobs are out there and employers are still trying to find workers. Where we have problems right now, as you just said, is that the inflation continues to outpace people's work, uh, salaries and their uh, and their incomes, and so people have been getting poor. I think that's the reason you see financial stress out there. Don't forget, we have record amounts of credit card debt. You've got people really worried about the rising mortgage interest rates. So there is positive and negative signs right now. But one thing's for sure, as you just said, most Americans feel very negative about the direction of the economy. Uh, Stephen, I want to turn to this. Uh, private equity and venture capital investment in the commercial real estate industry yeah. saw a 60 percent decline worldwide in 2022. Uh, of course, you can attribute that to, to you know, the pandemic and, and a lot of yeah. people not going to work. But what is the effect of that, the downstream effect of that, say, for banks? Well, as you said, I mean, this is this is the after effect uh, of the uh, earthquake of, of COVID. But, you know, you don't see people rushing back into the office. And you so the the demand for commercial real estate has fallen very significantly, especially in cities where you have a lot of crime and a lot of other problems on the streets. And so it's going to take a long time for the commercial real estate market to recover. And that means, you know, that you're going to have a lot of foreclosures on these properties. Right. Now, the really interesting thing is you're seeing some of those office spaces being converted now into condominiums and so on, because there's a shortage of housing and there's a surplus of the commercial real estate. Well, it makes me wonder about the, the um, foundation of banks that are behind these loans and behind this Good commercial point. real estate. Meanwhile, you had mentioned this, uh, people had gotten money in the pandemic, many of them for doing yes. nothing, just right. uh, and put it in their savings account, right? It's gone. Then they yes. went to credit cards. Now we have record credit card debt. And by the way, if you check the percentage on your credit cards, probably 25 percent. So yeah. it's almost good luck paying it off. Uh, so now the banks want that money, Stephen, but mm -hmm. they're going to lose money on. I, I feel like there's something out there that could be really bad for the banks, which could affect all of us. Yeah, well, look, the banks are losing money on their bonds, right, because the interest rates have risen. That's one of the reasons you've seen some of these problems with Silicon Valley Bank and others. And then you're right, they hold a lot of these mortgages on these commercial assets that are have really declined in value. So I think you're exactly right to, to put uh, some concern about how well the banks are going to be dealing with the foreclosures that are to come. You know, meanwhile, you've just got workers. You're so right about this. You know, people... The government's been running big debts. Now American people are running debts. Businesses are running debts. And at some point you wonder, geez, is this bubble going to pop sometime soon? Because consumer spending still remains strong. Yes. And you're right. They're running out of all the free money government gave them. Hmm. All right. Uh, Stephen Moore, thanks so much for breaking it down for us, as always. Appreciate it. Okay. Have a great weekend. You Thank too. you.